morning and welcome again to the Gold Hill Glance. Uh, we had a very, very busy week this week, which means we'll look toward next week with a lot of possible action on both the floor of the House and the Senate. Let me recap for you very quickly. Thanks very much for the many calls and uh, tweets and contacts that you made on a number of bills that were in committee. The House approved both our Tier 2 retirement bill, House Bill 344, as well as our workers' comp payments bill, House Bill 334. Both of those came out of committee this week and are ready for floor action in the Senate. Our workers' comp payment bill by Senator Livingston, as well as the dark store legislation, and our NACO purchasing bill. All of those were approved in committee this week as well, which means all of those bills now move toward the floor. We'll focus our attention on contacts to the Rules Committee. Watch your inbox for those details. A couple of other things for us to update you on. Uh, our Amazon legislation, the Simplified Seller's Use Tax, we introduced a new bill, Senate Bill 307. We expect it to be the focus of a committee meeting on Wednesday of next week. We'll give you all the details but we believe that bill removed the items that were objectionable to the majority of the cities. Uh, not sure that we'll get complete agreement from the cities, but we believe we've removed the major objections with that bill and look to move that bill forward. Again, that is Senate Bill 307 by Senator Pittman. We also this week had some movement on our inmate medical care cap legislation. Uh, it is out of committee uh, by, by Senator Greg Reed, and we look forward to that bill reaching the floor as early as Tuesday. It's a lot of details uh, in the midpoint of the session now almost, so there are many, many issues that are all moving at the same time. Thanks so much for your involvement, the contacts you've made. Watch your inbox. Uh, we have a lot of work to get done. Thanks again very much, and have a great weekend.